In this video, I want to introduce the concept of enthalpy. Um, so enthalpy is written as H uh, and it has some uh, various contributions, but what, what you really have to get from this video is that when you say enthalpy, you should think energy. So the energy that, you're, that you are used to thinking about. Uh, enthalpy is a little bit different, and here's why. So an enthalpy change is given by a change in the internal energy plus a energy term due to the, the change in volume. So if you're changing the volume against a constant pressure, then that will affect the energy that the system has. Um, so the pressure that you work against uh, is usually set to, if that is one bar, then that is the standard pressure and you specify that with, with this circle here. Um, for If we can assume an ideal gas, then uh, estimating this contribution here from the pressure volume term using the ideal gas equation is, is a very good approximation, usually. Uh, and delta N gas is the, is the change in the number of moles of gas. So for example, for this reaction here, you have something that's dissolved in aqueous solution. It makes a liquid and a gas. So the change in the number of moles of gas is 1. So you would put 1 in here, and for example, in this case, then uh, at room temperature, this would correspond to 2.5 kilojoules per mole. So as we'll see, that's, that's not really a, a very large amount of energy. So mostly what controls the enthalpy is the energy. Uh, notice also that if you don't uh, generate, within this approximation, if you don't generate any, any gas, if you have liquids, solids, or dissolved species only, right, then this is zero and delta H is really equal to delta U. Okay, so what determines the enthalpy? Uh, Mainly, it has to do, in most cases, it has to do with whether or not you're breaking bonds. So if you're breaking bonds, then the enthalpy will tend to increase. The enthalpy has uh, four different contributions. It has a molecular contribution, a translational and rotational, and vibrational contribution. Right? So these three terms here has to do with the internal motion uh, or external motion of the molecule. And this has to do with the electrons and the nuclei, uh, the bond energies, for example. And so, for example, for this reaction where you're breaking uh, the HH bond, and if you look at the different contributions, so this is from the molecule, the molecular enthalpy, translation, rotation, and vibration, right? you'll see that this is by far the largest contribution. Right? So delta H standard here is large and positive, because of this term here, because it takes energy to break the covalent bond. The same is true for a hydrogen bond. So here we have a hydrogen bond between two water molecules. Uh, the uh, standard enthalpy change is, of course, much smaller because a hydrogen bond is weaker than a covalent bond, right? But this, again, is positive, large and positive, mainly because of this term. Uh, you can see that this is also fairly large, the change in vibrational enthalpy, right? But it's negative. So, so this term, while large in magnitude, is not what makes this the overall delta H standard positive, right? It's really, if you had to point at any term, it would have to be this term. So what is this term, right? So it is the hydrogen bond strength, right? It's to do with the partially positive uh, proton being attracted to the partially negative oxygen, right? So when you think enthalpy, you should have a picture like this in mind, right? And so a good rule of thumb is that the enthalpy increases when bonds are broken, be they hydrogen bonds or covalent bonds. Okay, uh, the final uh, thing then is to introduce some terminology. So if the enthalpy decreases, then the reaction is called exothermic, and if 
the enthalpy increases, it's called endothermic. Another way to think about it is that for exothermic reactions, heat is released, heat is a product, and for endothermic reactions, heat is absorbed or used up, so heat is a reactant. Okay, and so I basically introduced this because this is, rather than saying is this, uh, what is delta H standard for this reaction, you would say is this exothermic or endothermic. So here I'm going to show a, a video of a simulation. Um, and as you watch this video, you should decide whether you think this reaction is endothermic or exothermic. Okay, if you need more time or want to watch it again, uh, hit pause or replay. Uh, if you're ready for the answer, if you think you know what the answer is and want to confirm it, uh, then press play again. Okay, ready? Okay, so let me start the, the video again. So the main point of this is that uh, when you watch the simulation, let me get this started. So the main point here, when you watch the simulation, is that hydrogen bonds are formed. So that means that the enthalpy decreases, right? Your energy is released, and therefore the reaction is exothermic. So let's uh, watch the simulation here. So in the beginning, nothing much is happening, but as you can see, the molecule is now starting to interact with the protein. Right? So for example here, you're starting to see hydrogen bonds between this group and this group, and this group and this group, and also here you can see pi-pi interactions. It doesn't have to be hydrogen bonds, right? but the main thing is that you're, you're forming hydrogen bonds or intermolecular interactions, right? So the energy is decreased. And therefore, the reaction is exothermic. 